welcome miniature painters. Today I want to talk about a little bit of a brush care and how you can fix your brushes uh, that you've kind of ruined. Now here's a pure example. This is these are the brushes I use for dry brushing um, and as you can see um, they are absolutely in a terrible state where the paint hasn't been taken off properly. I've either gone to answer the door or I've forgotten that there's paint on them. We've all done it. We've all left our paintbrushes on the table and, they've, and we've ruined And sometimes you can ruin some perfectly good brushes and also through use as well. So they're starting to get all worn. So what I'm going to show you today is a quick way to fix your brushes and a very easy fix for them. Um, and all it consists of is this. Now this is a glass jar. It's a lasagna jar. Um, you can get this in for the tomato pastas and lasagnas. But what you're looking for is a jar with a little lip on the side like so. Okay. So what we got there is a little lip. Um, and then all you, all you need is some a blue tack. And it's a su this is super easy and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Um, so all you do is you get your little blue tack out. Get your blue tack. Get a nice little chunk of blue tack. Make it into a little worm. Make your blue tack into a little wormy. Little wormy. And all you do is you stick it. Stick the blue tack around the rim. Around the rim of your jar. Just like so. And that's not going anywhere. Okay. Perfect. So that's our blue tap. Now for cleaning the brushes, especially for heavy brushes like this where what, what it is, the, re the reason why I'm doing this is because we need to soak the brushes. It's, um, we need to leave the brushes soaked because this, it, this paint has gone right into the ferrule there and it's in by the metal. Now we can remove this and make these quite new again. Um, so what I'm using here, this is the old alcohol, alcohol, pure alcohol solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of this into our little jar. We just leave that side there. Um, this is where the blue tack and it comes in handy because what we can do now is we can put our brushes in and stick them to the blue tack, like so. Um, all we're doing is going past the metal and what this does, it stops the brushes touching the bottom of the jar. So what's happening now is this lovely alcohol solution will dissolve away over time the paint on the paintbrush and going in the metal areas. Now you can leave this for days and for weeks, but as you can see, nothing is touching the base there. So you're not going to ruin your brushes. Now you can also use this technique um, for doing ordinary brushes. You can have water in there for your normal brushes. Um, and you can also put soapy water in there if you want to wash your brushes as well. And you can leave that there as long as you want. And what's gonna happen, it'll, it'll, mix, it'll soften, it'll soften all that hard, paint because of the uh, because of the alcohol solution and that's all we do now you leave that until the until the paint feels pliable and then all you're going to do is wash your brushes into soapy water um, and then you can redo the process again and again and you'll end up with your brushes kind of back to normal um, here's, here's one I done earlier it's nice and soft again. Most of the paint's gone. This was solid as a rock. Um, and now I still got to get, get rid of a few little bits on there. A couple more washes and rinses and we'll be back to how it was before. Absolutely fantastic. So this is my quick tip for you guys. Uh, just get yourself a jar and you can look after your paint brushes. Um, I'll do a few more little um, helpful tips on how you can look after your paint brushes. But um, I spent a small fortune on dry brushes. Um, as you know, it's my favorite way of painting, so I use them a lot. But this will help you so much and um, it works. So very simple, one jar, 
put a lasagna jar or pasta jar as long as you've got this lip and then you can add that blue tack to the top and then just let your brushes soak and of course they're not going anywhere wash them with warm soapy water repeat the process to soften the soften the paint if it's still hard um, and your brushes should become usable again i would not recommend this for very expensive detail brushes but for your main brushes like i'm using here the army painter brushes absolutely perfect and i've been using this uh, this system for quite a few years now and i've saved myself quite a bit of money so until next time